Over the past five years, 85% of the world's population have experienced a decline in press freedom in their country. During the same period, 400 journalists have been killed while doing their job. In addition, global newspaper advertising revenues have dropped by half, severely threatening the survival of media outlets. These threats to the free exercise of journalism, as explored in the latest edition of UNESCO World Trends Report on Freedom of Expression and Media Development, have been further exacerbated by the rise of new technologies. While these technologies allow us to access more news than ever before, they expose us to disinformation and hate speech. They also raise new challenges to our privacy and personal data protection, with digital surveillance techniques being used by different actors in violation of the rights to privacy and freedom of expression. The digital sphere has provided the new tools to those who wish to silence free expression, dissent, and investigations into wrongdoings. We have seen an increase in digital attacks, especially against women journalists. Journalism is today under digital siege, an issue so pressing that it has inspired the overall theme of the World Press Freedom Day 2022. It is therefore essential to ensure workable technological and regulatory solutions so that journalists can exercise their profession safely with their sources protected and that we preserve our collective right to know, to express ourselves, and to protect privacy. Last year, the participants in the World Press Freedom Day conference adopted the Windhoek Plus 30 declaration on information as a public good. The principles of this declaration have since been endorsed unanimously by UNESCO member states. However, to ensure that information and journalism remain public goods, we must work together to protect the rights of journalists and media professionals to work freely and safely. In this regard, as we mark this year the 10th anniversary of the UN Plan of Action on the safety of journalists and the issue of impunity, we need to increase our efforts and intensify our cooperation. Last year, during the COVID-19 pandemic, and for the first time ever, the Global World Press Freedom Conference connected most of the celebrations around the world through one virtual commemoration. This year, with the improvement of the sanitary conditions, we are returning to multiple celebrations and discussions around the world, both in person and virtually. On this World Press Freedom Day 2022, I invite you all to reflect upon the opportunities and challenges facing press freedom in the digital era. I am convinced that through joint efforts, we can together overcome these challenges as to ensure a future in which information remains as a public good to the benefit of all people. I thank you for your attention and wish you a fruitful conference.